Green technologies such as biofuels and solar power are really taking hold, judging by this year's static display. From freighters to bizjets, Green is big at Le Bourget. The most hyped aircraft here is the intriguing Solar Impulse. 100% fueled by solar power, the aircraft took off from Brussels for its 16-hour flight to Le Bourget on the Tuesday before the air show. Solar Impulse is powered by four 10-horsepower electric motors, which are fed by 400-kilogram batteries. Cells on the flying surfaces charge the batteries. Energy stored in the cells during the day enables night flights. Solar Impulse's team planned to perform demonstrations here, but bleak, rainy weather prevented it. This footage shows the Solar Impulse in flight. Electric power also is demonstrated here as a viable option, with EADS, Cree and two aircraft from Diamond Aircraft of Austria. The Cree is a single-seater powered by an electric motor. It makes its debut here. Other aircraft flying in demonstrated drop-in biofuel performance. Boeing planned to accomplish the first biofuel-powered flight across the Atlantic with its Boeing 747-8 freighter. It filled all four engines with a blend of 15% Camelina-derived biofuel and 85% jet fuel. But Boeing was beaten out by Honeywell Aerospace, which landed its Gulfstream G450 on Saturday. The BizJet was powered by a 50-50 blend of Camelina-derived biofuel and kerosene. Honeywell now holds the record for the first biofuel-powered transatlantic flight. Its G450 also is the first business jet powered by a biofuel. I talked to Jim Ruskoki, Honeywell's Vice President and General Manager of Renewable Energy and Chemicals, about its strategy for developing and marketing its Camelina blend, called Green Jet Fuel. We're not going to be fuel suppliers in the long run, we're going to be technology providers. The program, as far as the technology development, is now complete. Uh, we will receive certification from ASTM International, uh, full certification, um, by the end of July. And when that's complete, uh, the fuel will be ready for use uh, commercially worldwide. But I think in the very short term, in the next six months, you will see some commercial airlines begin flying on bio-derived sources.